Philadelphia Performing Arts is a STEAM model, which means it's fully arts, fully STEM, and basically when you take uh, the word STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math, and you add arts to it, you come up with the term STEAM. It is a K-12 school now and the largest single charter school in Philadelphia with over 2,500 students. Every student has an opportunity to choose a passion that they're interested in. We also really believe in multiple intelligences and allowing kids to figure out what type of learners they are, what type of creatives they are, and that's really the, the environment that we have for kids that supports them at every age. I've had lots of experience with students on the autism spectrum um, using other forms of nonverbal communication, yes. but Matthew is my first student using a letter board. Everything looks really good. How is French class? Joy and I are grateful to String Theory for giving him a chance and, and saying, you know what, this is experimental, but we're willing to experiment. Marty, he spelled it in French. Cool. More, Matthew, if you want more, honey. He was a, a beautiful child, beautiful baby. I was able to connect with Matthew. A mother knows that, you know. You can look into each other's eyes. And he was responsive. He was aware. He was not necessarily in his own world. He was sort of heading towards 15 months, 18 months. His language was not developing the way it should have. Also uh, seemed to be doing some repetitive behaviors and what's called stimming, where he'd watch, let's say, Baby Einstein videos. He, he loved those videos. And we found him, you know, sometimes flapping his arms while watching the videos. Sometimes he'd sort of get engrossed in shadows and walk back and forth repetitively watching the shadows on the walls. Classic autism, mild to moderate, is his diagnosis. It's frightening to hear that because you're unprepared. Yeah. And I was thinking, you know what? It's not the end of the world, and it's going to be a huge challenge, but I, I felt in the end that we would be successful. Bye, Mommy. Bye, I love you. Mwah. I love you, child. He was at a public school, an elementary school, and he was in a, an artistic support program. Academically, there was always a problem. Our speech pathologist had said to me, I have another client who has had um, tremendous success with a program called Spelling to Communicate. And we went down to Virginia uh, to Growing Kids Therapy Center and met with Elizabeth Vossler who is the person who uh, basically has developed um, this methodology for communication. D, move that arm, elbow out. And she started by having him spell her name, spell out Elizabeth on the letter board. She gave him a choice as to what to, to read about, and he chose Amber and how Amber um, fossilizes uh, over 130 million years. She says, oh, what are we learning about? And she gave him the pencil, and he spells out amber. She also said, and Matthew, what's happened to the resin over time? And he spells out fossilized. I said, can someone be intellectually disabled if they're answering these questions? And she looked at me, and she said, no. I went to the special ed administrators and I said, you have to let him use this letter board in school. The reaction was, quite honestly, he couldn't use the letter board in school because it was not um, a scientifically proven technique. He's intellectually, I feel, above where a lot of the kids are. He's in honors classes. He's come up with proofs in ways that I don't even think of sometimes. He's looking for different ways because of the way his brain is viewing things versus the way that the majority of my other math students and myself are viewing things. He participates constantly. He's always on top of all, his, all of his assignments, so he's a very positive presence in the class. So I love having him in the class. Kids actually go to him and ask him for help instead of going to a teacher because he's just so kind and will help a lot of other students. Bye. 
Matthew has a rich imagination, which is, um, was fascinating to discover. Do you have any artists to inspire you or your artwork? Vincent van Gogh. Because his art always has, his art always has a double, double meaning. <laughs> because he has apraxia, all motor challenges are really difficult. I have to learn to coach the body and not necessarily like, yes, that's correct, no, that's incorrect. It's more of like, keep pushing your body, move your eyes to where it needs to go. Uh, too soft, too hard, prompts like that. You ready? String theory has allowed him and accommodated him. Of course they allowed him to use the letter board in school. They knew that he needed a communication partner to be with him in school, to hold the letter board, and to help regulate him. Before this, he was not able to share his thoughts, his ideas. We think that this is a model that really is reflective of what urban education can look like. They're growing into the world's next creative leaders. What do you like the most about attending this school? What does this school mean to you? The amount of acceptance is surreal. Everyone has one motive, and that is to progress as a community.